Phones burn, make it quick. Uh, I'm like your one friend, Aiden. You should be nicer to me. Great. I'm hanging up now. It's a job, jackass. Fix your gig. I can't take it. Travel restrictions. <sighs> I told you I'm not doing that hired gun work anymore. Oh, come on. It's corporate espionage. Scumbags screwing scumbags. No bystanders. Huge payday. Mm-hmm. What's the catch? It's in... London, which is not the easiest place to get to these days. London. It's where Jackson lives. Yeah. Why do you think I called you, asshole? Okay, I gotta go. To help you blend in, <laughs> everyone here must wear one now. <laughs> uh, your car fell through. The London bombings, uh, they change everything. Many things are hard to get now. Car won't be a problem. Oui. Good, but it is also your flat. You have somewhere else you can go, family? It's complicated. <laughs> Uh, it is okay. Still family, no? You will see. Yeah. I will see. for accepting fixer contract 11384242. Investigate merger between Brokatech Corporation and Rempart Automated Defense Systems SA. Hereafter, Rempart SA. Context, Rempart SA is a French private security firm specializing in robotic forces. Last April, they made overtures to acquire London's Brokatech, which specializes in advanced AI systems. But negotiations have stalled. Thomas Rempart, CEO of Rempart SA, sabotaged the deal after Brokatech spun off its Deep Labs division into a new corporate entity. But even without the Deep Labs, shareholders of both companies stand to make millions. So why is Thomas Rempart doing this? Objective. Rempart's delay is illegal under French law. Infiltrate the Deep Labs and discover what Thomas Rempart is willing to risk lawsuits over. Recover documentation and physical samples to support. ROE. Discretion recommended. Get in, get the evidence, get out. Pretty tame as fixer contracts go. Let's make nobody's home. Why would they leave the lab unguarded?
Unfortunately, our surveillance team found out that Rempart is mostly interested in a piece of technology being developed by our Deep Labs division. Something called the Broker Bridge. The whole acquisition is just a ploy to get it. So Rampart's after something called the Broker Bridge. The whole acquisition attempt was just his way to get in. I should keep going. That door might be unlocked now. What could this be? Client wants the photos. Stand down. Stand down. Don't like the sound of that. Should keep moving. Electric burns, random though. Some kind of taser weapon, but not a gun. I'm definitely not the only one here. Rampart's Mark II robots don't work without this broker bridge, and he's already sold a million units. So, he needs the gadget or he's screwed. If I can get my hands on a prototype, then I'm done here. Locked. Should see if there's a closed circuit box around here. If I hack it or take it out, should let me through. Looks like Thomas Rempart never had an original idea in his life. Even stole his billion dollar robot design from some basement inventor. Yes, thank you. I understand. You're saying that Brokatech will agree to a merger as long as I step down as CEO. That's right, but right now... Well, the terms. I need... Are they favorable? Enough, the board has to listen. Look, Toma... <laughs> so I'm fucked. <laughs> if I don't step down, I don't get the broker bridge and I'm jailed for fraud. And if I do, they, they'd probably throw me under the bus anyways. And then all this Toma, is a waste of time. Stop talking. Toma, I've been trying to tell you. We believe our networks have been penetrated. They're probably watching right now. Shit! So that's Thomas Rempart. Man-child with a private army. Dangerous combination. Broker Bridge Chamber unsealed. Please ensure your identification is visible at all times. Broker Bridge Chamber. Sounds like that's where I need to go. Huh? Ugh. Shit. Okay. So this other intruder can either cause remote equipment malfunctions, or they're invisible. This must be where they make this broker bridge. Might as well get some photos of this, too. Let's shut things down. That'll do it. Now I just gotta grab this thing and get out of here. Then I guess I ought to look up Jax. Just stop! Speak for yourself! You stop! Not gonna happen! Why do you want this thing so bad? It's just a job! A job? Just slack off for a day like a normal person! Nice try, pal, but you're out of runway. Open the door. Uh, no thanks. You're from that dead set group in San Francisco, aren't you? You mean the one that busted you out of a cage guarded by 20 Eastern European gangsters? I seem to remember that was mostly your friend. But now you're alone. This isn't a dead sec op, is it? Yeah, well, I grew out of dead sec ops a long time ago. Oh! <laughs> 
get off, pal! Suspect in custody. My people dug this out of your chest. If it was one inch in any other direction, we wouldn't be talking. I read the files you downloaded from Brokatech. The ones about me. They're all technically true, yeah, but... I feel like they didn't quite give you the full story. This is the Mark I. Simple AI, good for simple things. Uh, the Mark II will be controlled by the thoughts of a human pilot. Military, police, it'll all be transformed overnight. But one day, these will permanently hold the human mind. No more death. No more limitations. We'll be able to live on Mars like it was Maui. And for all this, all I need is that little device stolen by your partner. The one in the stupid mask? I don't know that guy. <laughs> Silence was a better strategy than lying there, Mr. Pierce. Are you done? Look, I don't know that guy. But I can find him. I'm good at that. You just have to let me go. I just don't think I can trust you without some kind of insurance. Perhaps your nephew, Jackson? Hmm? He lives in London, doesn't he? I offered you a good deal. Take it. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I want to believe you. I really do. <laughs> but I just can't. Not yet. I'll return once my little helper here has made you a bit more trustworthy. Find him. <sighs> You're obviously new at this. You still think torture works. Don't be stupid, Rampart. Let me help you. not equipped to fight them. I won't get far without my gear. 
better find it. A drone designed for recon and material recovery. Might come in handy. Oh, thank the fake baby Jesus, it worked. So, uh, you didn't mean all that about hunting me down and stuff, right? Very cool. Not even close. You almost killed me. It was a stun bomb. How does one teeny little stun bomb almost kill Aiden fucking Pierce? Piece of that little stun bomb wound up lodged in my chest. Oh, yeah, I know that's not what that's supposed to do. Uh, look, I gotta go, but try to remember that I was the one who saved you from the torture bot, okay? That's worth something, right? Wait, where are you? <laughs> nice try. this thing work? Uh, Bagley? Call Jackson Pierce. No public listing for Jackson Pierce could be found on the Bloom Network. Pull it from my encrypted files, voice, print, ID, Lena, and drop a pin at his address. Done. Calling him now. I'm sorry, the Bloom Mobile customer you've tried to reach is unavailable, and their voicemail box is full. Please try again later. Looks like I'm doing this in person. Hello, Aiden. Do you mind if I call you that? I'm pretty disappointed, I gotta say. I thought I could trust you, but... You can't trace this device. I made sure of that. Yes, I'm aware. I'm much more concerned with finding the broker bridge. Where is the wrench? Like I said, I don't know. But I'll find it. You'll get your gadget. Uh, even if you did tell me, I couldn't believe you now. Looks like I'll have to pick up your nephew, Jackson. We can swap. You won't find him. He's smart. Smarter than me. <laughs> uh, I've crushed way, way smarter people than you, bud. Inside, maybe I can find out where he is. Warn him. Come with me. Wait, please. There must be a mistake. No, you're under arrest. You'll be hearing. Jackson's flat. That looks like a miniature tech lab and gym equipment. Hmm. Pierce family stables, I guess. Fine for protesting. I wish he'd keep his head down, but I get it. Hey, all right, Jackson, it's Dr. Ellis. My conference was canceled, so I'll be here this week after all. And I just wanted to say again how happy I am with the progress we're making. And trauma moves our boundaries in ways that can make close relationships challenging. But the fact that you're making so many new friends really shows it how far you've come. Anyway, uh, call me back if you want to book some time. Cheers. Isn't therapy? Well, I guess that helps some people. That's a hefty scholarship. Always was a smart kid. I can get in through the window. Need to find out where he went. Look around. No 
stone unturned. is wrong with you i have not seen you in what 15 years and then you want break into my place this is not what i'm doing Jax. i'm sorry but you're in danger no not this time i mean you gotta send a an email or 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 a text something that is how you do this Jax, i can't i'm sorry but i Hey. You've been out for 12 hours, Aiden. I don't think they're coming. Jax, you have to trust me. There are people looking for you. They are serious. I'll be fine. Trust me, after everything with, uh, you? Well, I made sure we knew how to handle ourselves. Okay. Hey, can you leave a channel open at least? Anything happens, I'll be here in three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, fine, I'll leave a channel open. But you gotta go. That box is for you. Mom brought it over the last time and, uh, I don't know why. But it's your shit. Jax. is good, actually. Sure, yeah. Got it. And Aiden, if you need help with whatever's going on, there's this pub by Parliament. The owner knows your kind of people. Knows how to get stuff that's hard to get. I can tell her you're coming if you want. How do you know this person? From protests. I help out as a street medic. Connie's kind of a friend of some friends. You realize this protest stuff is a good way to get yourself killed, right? The good guy's already lost. Yeah, well, some fights are worth losing. Look, I gotta go. Connie Robinson. Aiden Pierce, heard you know how to get things. Yeah, sure. Jackson called ahead. When he told me that Aiden Pierce was coming to see me, I just thought he was being funny, but, uh, here you are. So... Is, uh, the fox looking for something specific? The fox? Something exotic. This. Well, I'm stumped. What is it? A piece of shrapnel almost killed me. 
I think it's part of a smartphone activated explosive fuse. You know where I could get something like that? <sighs> yeah, I could uh, ask around, but. Uh... Hmm. Off the top of my head, I've got an acquaintance who uh, helps me import certain uh, exotic goods. I'd start with her. Smuggler. If anyone knows where to get bomb parts. Dead on. I'll push a location to your optic, but, um, Aiden, this one's a favor for Jackson. In future, you'll have to earn your own favors. Understood. You know Connie Robinson? Oh, you're her American pet. Supposed to be some kind of famous old tough guy, yeah? yeah I don't know about that. I'm looking for a place where someone can get bomb-making supplies in bulk. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, I just, um... I can't think of it, like, right now. See, I'm just, um... I'm in this situation with Albion that's got me, like, so stressed out. But, um, if you could help me out of it, I'm sure that my mind will clear, like, right up. Fair enough. What are the details? Few and familiar, you know. Don't grease the right palms and now my latest shipment stuck in the local fascist clubhouse. Got it. Keep a line open. This won't take long. Ooh. Love the bravado. Very American. <laughs> Hey, good luck. Jackson. Look, I don't know if you're listening on this channel right now, but in case you are, I just wanted to say... The only reason I took the job that started all this is because it paid well enough so that I could set up you and your mom forever. Well, anyway... Are you serious, Aiden? I'm a PhD student at one of the best STEM schools in the world. I'm doing great. We don't need the money. I don't always need a gun, either. But when I do, I'm glad I have one. Listen to yourself. You took the job because you love getting into gunfights with assholes and talking like that. That's not true. Yeah? What are you doing right now? Getting distracted. I should go. Yeah. Me too. I reckon you're close. Right, you're looking for a few little boxes. Little? Not a big box of guns. You know what they say. A little depleted uranium goes a long way. Depleted what? Yeah, on that note, you might want to use a delivery drone or something to move them. You know, just in case it's not quite as depleted as advertised. I actually picked up a gadget earlier that might do the trick. Shoot yourself. I parked a van nearby with a lead-lined interior. You'll probably want to use that to move them. Do your thing. get to work. Got your stuff, but I think someone noticed it's gone. My pursuit alert's lighting up. I'm sure you can handle it. Hey, here's a drop point. Take it there once you lose them. Location confirmed. On my way. Come on, man. You're running from mercenaries in a van full of five-figure per unit anti-tank rounds, and you aren't having any fun. Let's keep this channel clear for updates. I need to focus.
Your shipment's at the drop point. Now, I think you were gonna tell me where I could find someone who sells bomb-making supplies. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll just drop you another pin. Easiest way. All right, thanks. Oh, and uh, I left you a little thank you present with Connie. More where that came from, if you're willing to work. I'll keep that in mind. All right, Aiden. Me mate left you something. Here, if you're looking to gear up, guns, money, disguises, whatever, me and me spars would be willing to trade for favors. Noted. Hey, Connie tells me you picked up my care package. Here's the location for that uh, shopping center you were looking for. Appreciate Auto drive it. now enabled. Aiden, hey. I just happened to be looking at your optic feed, and I noticed you're getting pretty close to some gangster turf. Am I going to see this on the news later? I'm just after some documents. Not that I care. But what kind of documents? I'm looking for someone who bought a lot of bomb-making supplies recently. And even black marketeers have to keep legitimate books for laundering and insurance. So if I can get those books and eliminate the clients against a few international most wanted lists, I can narrow it down. And you're looking for a bomb maker to stop him? That's right. Okay, good. Just be careful, I guess. Someone's down over here! I know they're creeping around here somewhere. This one wasn't selling bomb supplies. Strike units, you are clear to begin. Lethal force authorized. Operation Silk Road is green. Repeat, the operation is green. Shit, Ambien's closing in. Gotta get that data now or they'll bag it up. seen one? Hang on. Looks like a massive shipment is about to go out to Rempart Automation. Might be nothing. Then again, it might be on a wrench. Can't risk losing my advantage here. Gotta take out that vehicle. Makers Please list. exit immediately. Eliminate the usual suspects, and that leaves Anime Sex Pillows LLC. Hello, wrench. Let's see what's in your file. <laughs> what the hell is that? Jackson? Sorry. Thought it was muted. You left the video permissions open, and I couldn't help Danger. myself. Vehicle in Sucks critical like condition. Dead Not Please a total exit bust. immediately. I learned the guy I'm after is thorough, methodical. He's smart enough to cover his tracks. And he probably does all that goofy stuff so nobody takes him seriously as a threat. Exactly. He wears a mask dyed his face, but the performance is the real disguise. Sounds like someone else I know. Hey, look. This feels weird. Can we talk? Danger. Like in person? Of course. I'll be there right away. Imperial College of London Engineering Department, PhD candidate. 
LMPT Mixed Martial Arts Gym Membership, monthly order of one box, Buff Max Protein Bar. Yet if you actually found Jackson, you would have just said so. No, I would have showed you so you would believe me. Is that what it's gonna take for you to turn in your accomplice? I told you I don't know him, but I can find him. But honestly, right now I'm thinking about coming to see you instead. <laughs> oh, stupid idea. You said it yourself. I am very rich, and my family is richer. Even if you kill me, you would ruin your nephew's life. You're already responsible for the death of his sister. Could you really hurt him like that again? You'll get your gadget. I'm hanging up now. Look! With your eyes! Help. Okay. I've had a minute to think. And I'm gonna help you. No, Jackson. I can't let you get involved. I didn't ask for you to come. And now my life's on hold until you're gone, so why don't you just bring me up to speed? You're right. So, there's this rich scumbag called Thomas Rampart. He needs something called the Broker Bridge, or he's gonna go to jail for a scam he's running on the government. Rampart? Robotics guy, right? Does private security? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and let me guess. He hired you to grab this broker thing and then he turned out to be an asshole. Pretty close. The broker bridge was stolen by this old dead set clown. Goes by Wrench. And Rampart probably thought you two were working together. And then he threatened me if you didn't turn over this Wrench guy over to him? Exactly. And frankly, I'd love to. But I have no idea where he is. So that's why you were looking into bomb supplies. You know... I do know my way around London pretty well at this point. I might be able to turn up a lead or two. All right. Just don't put yourself in any danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson? I'll be fine. Remember. Hey, I meant to say, this might take me a while. So you might want to find something else to do in the meantime. Right. I think your resistance friends might have some work for me. Good thinking. They should be able to help you get outfitted too. If any of this goes sideways, you're gonna want to make sure your equipment's up to snuff. So you're the one they call the Fox. Your reputation precedes you. And you must be Angel. Should I be flattered or concerned? Depends on how you handle a little favor for me. I need you to track down a friend of mine, Sonia Mayfield, amateur boxing champ. Now runs a local gym. She went missing a few days ago. So long as your favor doesn't mean free. Any idea what could have happened to her? Does she have any enemies? I'd like to know. Sonia was a pillar in this community. She ran free classes for the local kids so she could keep them off the streets. I'll look into it. I'm locked out. Looks like someone closed the place up. There's a CTOS camera nearby. Maybe it picked up something. Understood. Get shit. Angel, I got stills from the CTOS camera. Looks like Sonia met with Clan Kelly before she went AWOL. Sending to you now. Clan Kelly? Oh shit. I recognize this asshole. They hit up a Kelly clubhouse that runs underground fights. So it wasn't a random visit. Clan Kelly targeted her for her boxing history. But for what? I'm sending you the address now. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> 
All right, I'm here. What's your plan to get in? Are you gonna start shooting? And that sounds judgmental coming from you. Sonia's probably in there, and I don't want her to wind up as collateral damage. And I want to know what's going on. You won't get information by killing everyone inside. Yeah, I heard you. I think I've got an idea for how to blend in. Don't wet yourself now. Your idea was to enter the tournament? No better way to check out the action than be right in it. That isn't her. A solid hit! That's the shit we like to see of all right, people all want. people are you gonna have to go through? One for the record books! Did you all see that monster hit on the stream? Fucking hell! Four. No thanks to you. Oi, big man. Are you Sonia Mayfield? Angel sent me to find you. Really? Did he tell you to completely fuck me over too? What are you talking about? The match. The only reason I signed up for this tourney was because the prize money would have kept my gym doors open. Now I'm gonna lose it. The bank will take everything. This was about the prize money. Take it then. Angel thought something bad had happened to you. Turns out you were just fighting for Clan Kelly. It's not that simple. They wanted a champion for their league, so while they may not have literally put a gun to my head, they made saying yes my only real option. And I'm the lucky one. They've dragged other people here to fight and caged them up after. Folks at all them are across them. Clan Kelly are holding people hostage and forcing them to fight. I can't let that go on. Okay. I hope you make them pay. And tanks. That gym means everything to me. You can't leave these people here, Pierce. People shouldn't be chained up to fight like dogs. Shit. Dogs shouldn't be chained up either. Don't worry. I wasn't planning on it. You've got one chance. Please. I need help.
research units disengage. This search is pointless. Thank you so, so much. Ha. Just the man I wanted to see. I've got a little mystery on my hands. And you want me to solve it? You catch on quick, Fox. You're not the only one asking me for favors lately. What's the situation? I keep hearing the same story from the regulars on the soup line. They get sacked. Their employer pulls their housing stipend. And then some tough guys come and force them onto the streets. People get fired, people get evicted. Is that a news story in England? It is, when the flats are still empty weeks later. You don't get that many vacancies in London these days. Not unless it's on purpose. Something's up. All right. I'll see what I can find. This place is a ghost town. See some gangsters hanging around, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the movers. They must have set up camp. Makes sense. They can harass the locals and scare off any new tenants while they're at it. These company units are all hooked up with CCTV. You can hack in from the CTOS hub. Yeah, I've done this before. Here we go. Found the security cam access. Good. You're looking for flat 208. Huh. Looks like the movers left some of their gear. Please, I can get the money. Too fucking late, innit? Time's up, you're out. No, please, you can't. All right, lads. Let's wrap it up before the poor bastard Routing you the data wakes now. Up. This is good, Fox. Get out of there. I'll see what's what. Anything? These movers have been busy. Almost 200 evictions carried out here and at Shatten's Plaza. Any evidence that ties them to your friend's former employer? Strangely, no. If anything, the Kellys seem to be the ones calling the shots here. I don't get it. All this over some shoebox rentals? What's the angle? I'm not sure. But there is one name that keeps coming up in these files. Someone I think you might know. Who? Thomas Rempart. Rempart. Figures. I'm heading to the plaza now. I'll let you know when I get there. I'm here. You said this was housing? That's right. Converted warehouses. Well, now they've been converted to a hole in the ground. What the hell? Bingo. More data coming your way. Looks like financial records. Here's our scam. The Kellys clear out the land and Rampart buys it up on the cheap. He's going to turn this place into a factory for his robot playthings. And hundreds of people end up homeless. I say we sink his investment. I like your thinking. Look around for any of Rampart's assets and trash them.
just blew up one of Rempard's servers. Nice. Keep going. Look around. Keep your guard up. There goes another one. Good. That should set his plans back a bit. Now get out of there. Well, I did a bit of damage. But I doubt it's enough to stop the evictions. With the kind of money we're talking about? No. I don't think so. But now that we know the scam, we can start fighting back against it. Send out some tough guys of your own? Is that it? Mutual aid peers. I'm talking community funds for people who can't make rent. Nothing. Hooking people it's up with wrong. employment lawyers. That kind of thing. And yeah, a few tough guys on neighborhood watch couldn't hurt. Sounds like you got a long fight ahead of you. Good luck. The word never ends, Mr. Fox. Hey, I could use your help. What seems to be the problem? Some of my friends got picked up by Albion. They are street artists, so they're always getting nicked for tagging or whatever. I need to get them out. Vandalism is just a misdemeanor. You wouldn't be asking me to help if you just needed someone to pick them up from the station. You are right. Despite my better judgment, I'm calling in the big guns because this whole thing spooks me. My contacts tip me off that the arresting officer was Captain Dansk. So what's the problem? Most of the feds I deal with, I can bribe if it's over petty shit like this. But word is, Dansk is a zealot. There is no warnings, no leniency, no such thing as a small crime. My friends could do hard time or even get kicked out of the country over this bullshit. Another asshole on a power trip. I'll look into it. I'm counting on you, man. They are good people. They don't deserve this. Captain Dance must have an Albion facility they primarily report to and operate from. Yeah. There's a big Albion center in the neighborhood under their watch. I'll send you the coordinates. Good chance that if your friends got picked up, that's where they'd be held. I'm here. For a holding center, the place sure looks like a max security prison. Find a way to get inside quietly. You don't want to raise any alarms until my friends are well clear of there. Don't worry. I'll get your friends out safe. Get going. I'm in. Any ideas where to start looking? They're probably in one of the holding cells. If you find anyone matching my friend's profiles, patch me in and I can confirm. Shit. I didn't expect the cells to be this full. What are they all in for? Arrest reports are showing things like unlawful gathering, obstruction of justice, harassing an officer, Littering? All issued by Captain Dansk. I'm ordering the summary execution of the three individuals being held in... Uh, just put their names in the report after. Authorization by Commanding Officer Dansk. Listed reason? Defacing private property and promoting hate speech against the Albion Group. It does not do to be writing such nasty, salacious words. Words have consequences. Fire when ready, and leave the bodies there until they can be shipped out for cremation. Can you do something to help the other prisoners in here? Like what? Help them all escape? It might actually cause them more trouble from Albion if they were involved in a mass jailbreak. You could unlock the cell doors from a terminal. At least give them a chance to run. I'll see what I can do. Fuck, I think it's them. It's rough, but I better send Angel some photos so he can identify them. Angel, I'm sending you some photos. Do you recognize them? Fuck, fuck. This can't be happening. They're all dead, what for? According to the execution order, for defacing property with hate speech against Albion. 
They killed them for spray painting fuck Albion on the wall. Hate speech? That's free speech. And they just shot them and left them in there? Captain Dansk has decided the judge, jury, and executioner. I can't fucking believe this. It's time to get out of here. Final order of business. Taking care of Captain Dansk. What are you proposing? Simple. Dansk won't stop unless I stop them. Permanently. I can't believe I'm saying this, but is that a good idea? What if that makes Albion escalate? Revenge isn't worth it if they start raiding more people. Then what are you suggesting? Expose what Dansk has been doing here. The photos you took inside. I've got a contact. Claire Waters, Independent Press. You get them to her, and she'll make sure they get spread far and wide. We can get the whole operation shut down. You can't shame or embarrass a maniac who thinks they can play at being God. You can shine a spotlight on the darkness, or you can give into it. Whatever you want, Fox. Happy hunting. Claire, Angel told me you could help me leak a story. Aiden Pierce, man of the hour. I was hoping to get a soundbite from the hero that broke up Clan Kelly's slave fighting ring. Have you been in touch with any of the people you rescued? Let's rain check on the interview. I have some pictures you might be interested in. Evidence that an Albion officer is ordering illegal executions for minor crimes. I need word to get out far and wide. God, that is grisly. But don't worry, I can spread this to several channels. Albion won't be able to stop it from getting out, and we can expose their flagrant abuse of power. Glad to hear it. Sending to you now. I got the evidence to Claire. Now her and her little birdies can orchestrate this lunatic's downfall. I'd love to think Dask was just a freak occurrence, but... This is all over Albion, isn't it? This isn't the end of it at all. I'm sorry about your friends, Angel. They deserve better. I guess I never thanked you for finding them. What's next for you? I'm not sure. I need to let their families know. I might get blind drunk for a bit. I need to do some more digging into Albion. Give me a call when you do. Thanks. Aiden. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country, when I was a kid, and on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look, did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry, I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do, the man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got us there in the first place? Robbing whoever it was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time. Aiden, I got us a lead. Really? How? I figured Wrench wouldn't be the type to steer clear of the authorities for very long, so I went poking around in Albion's body cam archives. And look what I found. Look behind him. That's Brixton. And I don't see that drone he rides around on anywhere, which probably means he's close to home. Good eye. But not enough to go on yet. Even if you're right, he's too careful. And if we spend too long looking around, he'll notice and run. We have to narrow it down. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I've got just the thing for that. I'm dropping you a pin. Start moving. Where am I going? Here. Watch this. Might have left something behind at the Rempart facility. Exactly. See what you can turn up. Hey, Jackson. If you had any more questions about anything that happened before, if that would help you, you can ask them. I do. Too many for right now, though. But would that help you? I think it might help both of us. Okay, well, let's try one out. Oh, God. Well, I've had a hard time remembering what things were like before it happened. Can't even remember what I was like. 
I was pretty young, but, well, Mom always used to call me Aiden by accident. I guess we were a lot alike as kids. So maybe you were a bit like me when you were my age, too. Hmm. Guess that wasn't so bad, then. Don't give yourself too much credit. I'm still better looking. All right, looks like I beat the rubberneckers, at least. Probably not for long. You'll want to be in and out. What the hell happened here? Looks like he modified the robot's friend or foe identification. It shot at anything that moved. Reckless. Look at this place. Civilians could have been hurt. Yeah. The sooner we find this guy, the better. We'll hack into their BIOS, dig through their data, and see if we can't find where they dealt their camera locks. Copy that. a script payload that locked you in there. What the hell? Hello, Thomas. Looking for this? <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? <laughs> Sucks, right? Look, man. I know all about your little scam involving the Mark II's. All I gotta do is smash this thing, and you lose your company, and go to jail. Would you though? I mean, sure, you probably get arrested, maybe even convicted. You lose some money, but you still be rich. So you do what, four months? No. No, no, no. I didn't go through all this just to set you back. I want to fuck you the way you fucked me. With a sandpaper condom on my fist. So that's why I'm going to crush your whole business model instead. I'm going to reverse engineer this thing. And then I'm going to put your thought-controlled killbot design on the internet. For free! That way, anyone who wants one can steal it. <laughs> Happy day! <laughs> Looks like Wrench left this as a trap for Rempart and I stumbled into it. I can't do anything from here. Give me a minute. I'll come help. No, don't. I can handle it. Just give me a minute. like an internet troll crawled out of the internet. That's who we're chasing? He's a bit more dangerous than that. Do you see any clues to his location on that video? I'm scrubbing it now. No windows, no take-out containers. Hang on. Yes! Is that? Yes! I got him! Really? How? You can start heading to Brixton if you want to get moving. I'll explain on the way. Something's not right. All right, 
Tell me what I'm doing in Brixton. Go back and watch the video. Right in the corner of his workbench, you can see an Arduino board connected to one of his gadgets. Arduino? So he's controlling his gadgets with radio waves, probably through an optic. How does that help? It doesn't, unless you can get into high-frequency radio range. Then all you have to do is ping every nearby object. Whenever you have a high concentration of objects with a low latency ping back, you've got a big collection of Arduino boards. And a whole arsenal of gadgets. And since we already know he's in Brixton... All you have to do is go there, and I can use the Arduino ping back to find his hideout. Great work, Jackson. So I've been thinking. When this is done, you and me should probably sit down and really talk about things. Sure. I'd like that. But I do have a question now. If that's all right. About Lena? No, it's that... Well, you don't look good, Aiden. I'm worried about you. When are you going to stop all this? <laughs> Thanks. I keep trying to retire. Never takes. There's a lot of ways to help people. I've helped a lot of people, and... I've never shot anyone. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah. Just think a little bit about an exit strategy, okay? Because right now... Every end of this thing I can see looks pretty bleak. All right, you're real close now. All those gadgets are routed through the local CTOS hub. Find the hub, and I can pinpoint the exact location. You got it. Mm. This whole area is wide open. That'll be a problem if he gets on that drone of his. Already on that. All the drones in London are on a CTOS air traffic control system. I just need to hack a local relay and reboot it. Should ground everything for a few minutes. It's not worth exposing yourself for. Rempart's still looking for you. Keep your head down. I'll be fine. Also, I left 20 minutes ago. So it's a moot point. Jackson, how's that drone controller coming? Jackson, come back. Where are you? That's it. I'm aboarding. Coming to you. No, no, no. Bad idea, bud. What the hell are you doing on this channel? I told you. When I found Jackson, I wanted you to see it, so you would believe me. Say hello to Uncle Aiden. I'm sorry, Aiden. I fucked up. Oh, Poor little cabbage. He'll be staying with me until you bring me the broker bridge. This makes your bargaining position clear, right? I've already found Wrench. I'll have it in 30 minutes. Good. Kill him, and I'll pay you a million dollars on top of giving Jackson back. I'm serious. Fantastic. Hey, Aiden. Uh, in the spirit of, uh, friendly whatever we are, <laughs> just thought I'd let you know that that's not my real safe house you're outside of right now. It's, uh, nope, it's, it's, a uh, decoy. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, a uh, decoy. It's over, Wrench. Tell me where you are. Ah, uh, no can do. Oh, and if any security drones show up, just know they'll leave you alone as soon as you go away. So, please go away. Not going to happen. You got me. <laughs> but of course, I had an emergency exit. I mean, could you imagine if I didn't have another way out of here? <laughs> How dumb would I have to be? I mean, <laughs> pretty dumb. You could have called first. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, come on. We're on the same side here. Broker Bridge. Now. There. Really? Asshole. Okay, hang on. Hang on! Just... No mask. No wrench. Just Reggie. Look, 
you can't give that thing to Rampart. Whatever deal you have with him, he's gonna try to fuck you over. <laughs> Believe me, I would know. He's not stupid, he knows who I am. He knew who I was too, that's why he was interested in my company. He said he read about my rumored dead set connections in a Wired article. You designed the robots. Yeah. I know robots, but he knew business. He had this whole speech about space flight and human evolution and... And... I completely fucking fell for it. Yeah, I heard part of the story. So what? Now you want revenge? No. Well, yes. But mostly I'm just tired of fucking criminals, con men running the world. I don't know what I want exactly. I just know he can't win. Sorry, Reggie, I have no choice. <clears throat> For what it's worth, I spent my life fighting people like Rimpart. Doesn't work. So what? We're all supposed to just give up? No, you shouldn't. Some fights are worth losing. Rampart, it's me. I've got your broker bridge. Put Jackson on. Cool. He's right here. Aiden? I'm fine. Don't let this asshole tell you what to do. That's enough for now. You are so close to being through this, Aiden. Don't fuck it up. All right, Thomas. I'm on my way. You're being very trusting. For all you know, I could be planning to kill you and your nephew. You said your people looked into me. What did they find? That there are a lot of stories about the fearsome Aiden Pierce. Most people say that all the violence in Chicago is just a regular gang war that got blamed on some boogeyman called the Fox. But having met you, I believe the myth. After Chicago, they say you went global for a few years. I found a few links between you and the murder of some warlords, blood diamond traders, dictators, a dozen more rumors of the same. And that brings us more or less to the present day. But what does any of this have to do with you walking in here and simply trusting me to honor our deal? Look at it this way. If even half of what you said is true, is crossing me really worth the risk? You know what? I agree. There's no angle in it. Bring me the broker bridge, and this is all over. Uh-huh. Ah, you're here, finally. I've ordered everyone to stand by. Your nephew and I will be waiting for you in my office. bridge over and leave the premises. Once I verify it hasn't been damaged, I'll release your nephew. Not gonna happen. I'm leaving with Jackson. Stupid. I guess this means we're at an impasse, Aiden. Not for long. Sir, enough. Why you no! I'm coming in now. Jackson better be there. And he better be unharmed. Mr. Pierce, do you have it? We're going. No, no, no. Not before I confirm it works. It's okay, get, get up. up. Hello, Thomas. What? I've already said everything I need to say to you, so this is actually a message for Aiden. So there, buddy? What the hell is this? Hold on. Don't worry, it's a quick one. Duck! Yeah. Go! Stop the... Go! Shit. 
Try the door. Locked. I can get it open. Give me a sec. Faster is better. The building's locked, Aiden. Give up, and I'll kill you fast. This is a full lockdown alert. You won't shoot me out. This is a fucking panic team, company. I'm dead. Oh! I don't care. Shoot it over. These little fuckers aren't getting out of here. It's open. Let's go. Jackson, are you hit? No. Fine. Just keep your head down. Focus on me. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. If you kill Aiden Pierce, I will double your salary. No, triple. Low, Jackson. Stay low. Keep your target small. I got it. Center of gravity over your hips. Keep your footfalls quiet. Yeah. Maybe we can find you a helmet. Aiden, you are making me less calm. Right. You're doing great. Shit. Are we stuck in here? Yeah. They're probably setting up another ambush. Well, what do we do? Do we go back? No. No, I think we turn out the lights. This used to be so much easier. You've done this before? Not exactly this, but close enough. So what do we do? Just keep your head down and let me handle it. And if it goes bad, then you run. If nothing hits your heart or your brain, you can usually keep running, so just run. Until you can't, all right? Yeah, I love those odds. Let's go. You little fuckers aren't getting out of here! Take the power back. Jackson, you all right? Still in one piece. Not my best day ever, though. Let's take a second. I want to have a word with Wrench. Bagley, dial him back. As you wish. Connecting. Aiden! Hey, you're alive! Again! What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that you were Aiden Pierce, legendary badass. I knew you'd figure it out. And this way, everyone wins! Well, I mean, except for Rampart. He's dead. Not quite. You only winged him. Okay, okay, so not a total win. But still, like, an 8 out of 10. Rampart's all fucked up, and he's still gonna lose a bunch of money and go to jail. You almost killed Jackson. Oh. Fine. 7 out of 10. Can we discuss this on the way home, please? What are you talking about? What? You think I just leave you in the lurch? I'm down in the motor pool. Already got us some wheels. Just use the central elevator. Pretty sure the button says MP. All right. We'll be right there.
thousand pounds of rust. Oh, shit! What the fuck happened? Come on, come on! Get the fucking door! Yeah, just barely. Do you have like a like a needle or something? Uh, uh, yeah. How's this? What are you doing? If he was just unconscious, he would still react to pain and sound. But he's not. Well, what do you mean? He's like in a coma or something? Oh, shit! How do you fix a coma? I take him to a hospital. Where we'd be a rampart bait? Not an option. I know. Fuck! Okay. First thing, we need to stabilize him. He's lost a lot of blood. So I'm gonna need some bandages, iodine, and IV Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll there, Florence Nightingale. I'm gonna go get geared up, and then you can give me your shopping list. And where are you planning on getting that stuff? I don't know. Maybe I'll hijack an ambulance or something. Look, you stay here, you look after Abe, okay? And don't worry. Uncle Wright has got this under control. This. Care to dance? Lady Smash? All right, Ranch Jr., Daddy's gotta go to work. You be good. Mwah. Deep breath. Ranch, were you serious about hijacking an ambulance for supplies? Is this one of those questions with the right and wrong answer? I have a friend who can help us. She knows the city really well. Go talk to Connie first. I'll send you the address to her pub. Don't worry, man. I got this. I scoped out a hospital nearby already. Go meet Connie. The last thing we need is drawing more attention to ourselves and getting the cops or Albion involved. All right, all right, ye of little faith. <laughs> you know... There is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you can ruin my face? <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! Please, exercise caution. <laughs> and report you said eat shit. But I'll get back to you, Tommy. Gotta get that stuff for Aiden first. Focus, wrench. Ah, love the whole quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, word is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low. Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff that are moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving it mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so. Get moving. All right. Let's see how tough these Clan Kelly fucksticks want to play. The point here is to get the monitor, not get into a fight. And if one of them gets up in my face, you want me to go, Oh, please, big bad gangster, may I have a vital science monitor? 
You gotta get your hands dirty sometimes, kid. Uncle Aiden's a prime example of that. Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up, and just recently almost died, and is now in a coma. And your point is... chaos, just like you asked. Are you proud of me? Uh, if you say so. I knew I'd win you over. No one can stay mad at this handsome mug. Okay, I'm here. Dun, dun, dun! The vigilante known as the Fox surveyed the clearing through steely eyes, looking at all the bad guys he was gonna... Are you trying to roleplay Vader now? Just trying to think, what would Aiden do? I mean, he could steamroll through this whole gang, no sweat. Yeah, because that's so cool. Is sarcasm any way to speak about your elders? You and everyone put Aiden on a pedestal. He's either the coolest vigilante, or he's the worst villain. It's weird. Because he's also my uncle that, frankly, kept putting me in danger and then just stopped showing up. Oh, okay. Look, they even packed it up nicely for me. You've had to search through it quickly. Clan Kelly doesn't leave product unsupervised for long. Ooh, I've got a better idea. Instead of picking and choosing some drugs, I'll just take all the drugs. Oh, and please don't say up your nose. That sounds fun, but I'm working, young man. I'm gonna call my buddy little droid friend and fly the whole thing out of here. Go, bitches. Got it. Great. I'm sending you the coordinates to a drop-off point so you can get the supplies to me. Is anyone seeing this? That's <laughs> Easy peasy. Special delivery for a Connie. Looking for at least a 20% tip. Well done. I'll make sure Jackson gets what he needs. As for the rest, well, the resistance will find a use for it. Cheers, Wrench. Jackson, your shopping list is on its way. That'll help me keep Aiden breathing. But I don't know what to do about the coma. What if I swing by that big hospital? I can dig through their database and see if they have any information on treating coma patients. That's actually a really good idea. You gotta keep it quiet, though. We were avoiding the hospital because of Rampart. Don't worry, your Uncle Wrench can be so, so sneaky. Oh, London's running on a fancy upgrade. Are you gonna have a problem accessing the hospital's database? <laughs> Please, CTOS may have gotten a facelift. But that does not mean she's better than me. Long-term patient ward. Shit, are all the doctors on break? Physician, wouldst thou neglect the poor souls in thy care? Come on, Doc! People are slowly dying over here! <laughs> yes, imbue me with all of your knowledge. back now and I'm sending you the coma protocols. Leave it to your Uncle Wrench. Thanks. You keep trying, but I am not calling you Uncle Wrench. Oh, come on! Is 
So, what's the verdict? Did that doctor's info help? There's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma. So I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? Look, you can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rembrandt's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? Do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? And why Aiden is in a coma right now? Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. Ah, shit. It's Aiden's phone again. All right, asshole. I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Jesus, dude! Listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage. I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something? I gotta get off this burner. One sec. All right, I'm back. And I've got some burning questions. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and Aiden is in a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. Indefinitely. I thought Rempart was responsible, but now I'm finding out it's you. Uh, partially responsible? <laughs> Please don't chop me into little pieces. Okay, Ratchet. I need you to wipe some data from Rempart facilities. Can you handle that? Got it. Go to Nexus Tower and steal their prototype combat drone. Not what I said, but, uh, sure. Let's see where this goes. So, once I get my drone, what exactly am I wiping from Rembrandt's facilities again? Every trace of the Brokatech deal. Scorched Earth were the exact words the clan used. Scorched Earth? <laughs> I love Scorched Earth! Why didn't you leave with that? I don't think they meant it literally, but... Yeah, that was their mistake. Go nuts. Why, hello there, you hot piece of drone. <laughs> you, uh, want to get out of here? I know a nice little spot where we can park and, uh, you know, talk and stuff. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. <laughs> Weird, man. Uh, but who am I to judge? Let's do this. You safe. All right, let's scorch some earth. Where am I going, Dre? Marking it for you now. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Brokatech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? She runs Broke Attack, so that much makes sense. Look, the Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. All right, that's the first location there. I'll tag everything you need to take out. <laughs> seem to have that effect on people. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot this was on. It's all good. Vent away. Marking the next thing. All right, that's the second location there. Tagging all the targets. Light them up. 
With pleasure. So, if the client's not Sky Larson, is it Albion? Like, maybe they're trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all this shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. Eh, <sighs> uh, next time. Mysterious client is Thomas Rampart himself. For uh, some reason. Let me ask you something. Why do you care? You get paid the same whether you know or not. Uh, honestly, I really screwed up here. If there was some kind of shadowy puppet master who was really behind this whole game situation, I'd feel a lot better about it. Okay. I should say this, but I like you, Ratchet. Uh, I see some of myself. So there's a tiny little spoiler. There is no scheme, no old enemy out for revenge. You just fucked up. Fucked up shit to each other. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right, just one stop left. Then it's straight on through to Paydaysville. Marking it now. Paydaysville? <laughs> Do you mean to talk like Frank Sinatra, or does it just sort of come to you? It mostly just comes to me. Hey, man. Sorry, the big reveal was kind of a bummer. But I think I've got something that's going to cheer you up. Is it blowing up more Rampart stuff? It's blowing up more Rampart stuff. Marking your targets. Nice work, but quick update. There's been a complication. What is it? The clan's making a bigger deal about all the wanted destruction than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. Is this a problem we can fix by blowing up more stuff? Actually, I need you to clone a copy of the Rempart HQ server onto that drone for me to use as leverage. But I'd be surprised if you didn't blow up a few things in the process. Okay, I'd say that's in my wheelhouse. All right, I'm cloning the server now. You know, the client sure found out about our little rampage pretty quickly. They did, didn't they? And if you were still interested in who they are, that's what I would call a clue. So I realize you didn't answer when I guessed the client was Rampart. Hotter or colder? Hotter, actually, way hotter. Really? How does that work? I'll tell you what. Finish that download. If these guys are still gonna pay my ass, I might find myself in a forthcoming mood. One sec, they're calling me again. That should remind these idiots not to fuck with the contract after the fact. You still want to know who they are? Well, I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically the chairman, Louis Edmund Rempart, Thomas Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy, so now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. Hit me up if you want to run any more fixer gigs. Take it easy, Wrench. What am I, an open hotline? Who are you? I'm Sky Lars, founder of Brokertech. I have a proposal for you. We should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have of saving Aiden Pierce. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Hey, Jackson. What do you know about Sky Larson? I literally have her books on my shelf. I have a subscription to her Masterclass webinar series, and I won her Larson Family Scholarship. She's brilliant. Okay. Didn't expect to unpack a big crush there. Super sweet. But I think there's something sketchy about this. If she can help Aiden, we don't have a choice. Hey, normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. But this time I'm a little nervous.
If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Huh. Wait, is she a billionaire? Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's Wrench. I know you have the broker bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> okay, no, you're right. I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the deep labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret. Bring the broker bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. Okay, one, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me, and two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa, th what? Th hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time, on speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up! Sky said we needed to bring the broker bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. All units, I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Receive. Over. Responding to the situation now. <sighs> Wait, is that the broker bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the postal service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to broker tech. All right, I'm here. And they've definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. to the deep labs have been disabled. Rempart's locked that whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. I'm in. Rempart left behind some of his buddies here too. So you know that calls for a little ambiance. Won't that give away that you're here? Hey, that just makes it more fun! Let's party! New orders. New work orders for all of you. I want to see what the best of Broca Tech is capable of. You all would have belonged to me in the merger if Sky Larson did a fuck me over. So consider this a delayed acquisition. You see?
see my team members posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons are for decorations? You dare show your face here. Trying to take Sky's labs? Take Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I've moved on to better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. <laughs> You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. Your business venture here's done for, Tommy. Your company's toast, and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. The timeline you're requesting is unrealistic. It doesn't account for any pre-flight testing or even for a proper build. I don't like excuses. And that's all I'm hearing. If your team doesn't feel motivated enough, then one of you will get friendly selected. There. You should be back in. Then we can begin. Come on, big guy. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What, wait, wait, what, you, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial, the most exciting phase of a project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us. You never cared about taking Rampart out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Okay? There is no guarantee this is going to wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. Freedom. Whoa. Where am I? Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? Hey, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe I can get in through the backyard. 
Hey! Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with the baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture, is that me? I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's gotta be in here. Gotcha. All right, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were gonna disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you were coming from the start, instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever, just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jax, come on, you're it. Count to ten and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just... haunts him? This 
isn't funny. I don't... I don't like this. Jack, please. I found a good place to hide. Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. This was the worst day of my life, and it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it, and I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No, but maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. your cap and you're leaving with me right now still need my coat fuck your coat fuck this this literal mind game you know what i saw in that right is lena just in there all the time we need to get the fuck out of here so let's go i told you i need to finish this first and what is this exactly a grave your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax, you have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. Jesus. Why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? Oh my god. My house looks like a fucking crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? Jesus. Who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Hayden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. from you and it's not this guy dead I need your coat help me I'm back this better work
I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know? Dressed for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all the rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! Ha! Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson. Your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. and Mr. Pierce back together. I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well... Then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Wrench, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked at the Thames. On the books, moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um, is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rampart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Rempart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck. 
How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. I'll let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in a Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you gonna do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? This is why you're running support, Pierce Sr. No backseat revenging! You look like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle, so, you know, we're still equals, but he's more like my second cousin brother, uncle father figure. Ah, still compliqué. Bon, let's go. disable this barge before Rampart hits international waters. Find the barge controls in the navigation room. Check Itself, but I don't know how to get to it. You like being hands-on. I bet your drone would come in handy for this. I am so proud of you right now. <laughs> I'm tearing up. signal coming from the barge and massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold he's activated something something big get ready for a fight
meet the Mark II. Piloted by a human. No broker bridge. Mm. Oh, fuck me. Care for a demonstration? Shields. Hang in there. We'll find a way to get them down. No use. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me. Oh, I've got one way. with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. <laughs> we're gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. Sitara, Josh, Marcus. Myself, what would Aiden Pierce do? And then I asked myself, is that who I really wanted to be? And look, no offense, big guy. I think you made the right call. Even if I wanted to smash him into teeny tiny little pieces and scatter them all around. 
over the Thames and turn him into seagull shit. Well, progress is a journey. What's next on the docket for you? Heading home? Nah, I think I might hang around London for a bit, wrap up a few things. But I do think I'll give Marcus a call, though. Actually, hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a selfie in front of Big Ben and send it to him. Or, maybe I should go to Buckingham Palace and steal a roll of some royal TP. <laughs> get him a souvenir. Great. Looks like whatever trouble you get into, we'll have to fish you out of it. Aw, that's so sweet. What a nice family moment. We really do make the dream team, don't we? Jackson and his two uncles. Two uncles? Shh, shh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs>